Oh, hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel. For the month of October, we have been getting spooky. Yes, ma'am. Today we are doing a cult favorite, a cult classic. We are doing Tiffany Valentine from The Bride of Chucky. Oh my goodness. She is asked for so much. I actually have done her a few times and there are other tutorials of her done on my channel. Um, but as I mentioned in previous tutorials, and I probably will mention a couple of more times, um, you know, my skill has just gotten, gotten better. I've come more into my style and how I want to make looks look so we redoing her okay i am covering up these eyebrows because honey she's got some 90s brows on that doll so basically my idea of this look the version i kind of wanted to do was tiffany when she was a human mixed with her as a doll so like her makeup kind of her hair what she's wearing everything but like the sultriness of her as a human of that makes sense to you guys because her as a doll she's not um <laughs> very pretty okay um if you've seen bride of chucky you know but jennifer tilly ooh, she's pretty okay so i just wanted to mix it together and kind of give you that vibe i hope you i hope you caught that vibe because that's what i was going for i'm using my hocus pocus palette from ColourPop cosmetics this palette is so pretty i'm just using these two purple shades and i'm popping that right in my crease i laid it down my p louise base and i even went over my um covered up eyebrow there with the base I want to take up the, the eyeshadow up pretty high and the eyebrows are going to be drawn on higher than my natural brows are. So I'm taking the crease up pretty high and then I'm going in with the lighter purple shade and I'm just blending the edges out. And then I just go back in with the darker purple shade just to make sure it's really nice and smoky because Tiffany's got a very deep smoky eye. For the next palette, I'm using my Milani palette. This is from their new Halloween collection, and I'm just taking the black shade in this palette, and I'm popping that all over my lid. That way we can make it even more smoky. All right, moving on to this complexion, we're trying to look like a doll. So I'm using my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer and then my Matte Velvet Skin Makeup Forever Foundation. This is a very full coverage foundation and I really just wanted my skin to look absolutely flawless. So I am going in very full coverage and anything that's going to smooth my skin out, that's what I want, honey. I'm taking my Born This Way Concealer in Marshmallow and my KVD Vegan Beauty Locket Concealer in Whiteout, and I'm just popping that all over my face and the areas that I need to conceal. Using my Wicked Sisters Cosmetics Wicked Veil Translucent Setting Powder, I am just setting my whole entire face with this, and I even took my base down my neck and on my chest a little bit since my chest and my neck are going to be showing in my costume. For contour, I am using this Lunatic Cosmetics Labs contour palette volume one and I mixed a little bit of the reddish color in just because she's got really rosy cheeks and you want to make your face look a little bit more rounded um I already have chubby cheeks so I feel like I didn't need to do that for this look um so I just kind of contoured as a normal but just a little bit more dramatic than I typically would I guess she's got a little button nose so I'm just trying to contour my nose a bit more than usual And I also contoured underneath of my lip just to make them look a little bit bigger. I got this Bride of Chucky kit from Spirit Halloween and I'm using this blush that's in there. It's the perfect shade for Tiffany. And I went pretty heavy handed in it. I went ahead and baked underneath of my eyes. That way I could smoke out my lower lash line without getting any fallout on my perfect base that we made. I'm using my Pixie Beauty Black Tightline Liner to tight line my lower lash line and make it very smoky. I just took the black and the purple shades and really went to town and smoked it out. It does not need to be perfect and beautiful and like completely 100% flawlessly blended. Okay, it's a smoky eye and you can do it a little messy. I'm using this Tattoo Junkie Cosmetics eyeshadow. Oh my god, I just used my finger and I popped it on my eyelid and put it over the black. 
Um, the black just helped like accentuate it a little bit. Is that a word? Oh my God, did I just make up a word? Is that, a, you do? Okay, I'm losing my mind. I'm so sorry. I feel like I just made up a word. Is that a word? Somebody tell me down below because I feel like I'm losing my mind right now. Anyways, I'm taking this other tattoo junkie um, eyeshadow and I'm popping that right in the inner corner and I'm also using it as my highlight for underneath of my brow that we're gonna draw on in a minute on my nose and on my cheekbones as well. It is stunning, oh my goodness, look at that. It's like a, these shadows are like a cream texture, so I use my finger for most of it to like put it on, but they're amazing. Then I'm using this lip scrub from Hello Vanity. How precious is that? It's a Tiffany lip scrub, I had to use it for this. It um, is blue and I just put it on my lips to help get rid of the dead skin and wiped it right off. I used a pencil to kind of draw on how I wanted my brows first. They are just literally lines on her forehead. And then I used a black liquid liner and just went on top of that when I kind of knew the shape I was going for. I'm then going in with this Hocus Pocus lip liner from ColourPop Cosmetics. And I'm lining my lips. She has very pointed, um, like a very pointed upper lip where her Cupid's bow is. So I made those very pointed and then just made my lips a little bit bigger than I usually would, just overlined a little bit. Blended the liner in and now I'm gonna do my lashes before I finish my lips. I'm using my Pat McGrath mascara, popping that on, and I'm going ahead and tight lining my eyes right now before popping the lashes on. I don't know why I did it before, but I did. For lashes, I'm actually not using the bottom Fire Vixen ones. I am using the Tati lashes. And then this is from Hello Van Vanity as well. It's a Bride of Frankenstein lash applicator, which is so cute. I'm popping the Tati lashes on. Um, and then I use some Tati lashes, the Mitchell ones, for my lower lash line, like they're singles. And I put those on the lower lash line. I popped on my wig from Powder Room D and I am putting a beauty mark on with my one size liquid liner and then taking this tattoo, this fake tattoo from the Chucky kit from Spirit Halloween and just popping that baby on. You can always draw it on too, no big deal. I also took the gold chain that says Tiff on it and for lips I'm using these two liquid lipsticks from Tattoo Junkie and Whatever and Gifted. I'm taking the darker shade first. Her lips I think are actually black but dark purple I thought works just as good. So I'm using the darkest purple first and just putting it all over and then I go in with the lighter purple and I just put that on top of it just to give it a little bit more of a purpley kind of shift. But that's it for this tutorial, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this look. Also, this knife that I'm holding is not a real knife. It's from Spirit Halloween as well, and it says Chucky on it. So cute. Thank you guys for watching. I love Jennifer Tilly, okay? She is one of my favorite bad bitches ever in existence. One of my favorite horror queens. Let me know what you guys think of this video down below. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next Halloween tutorial. Bye.